See him up there, boss. Let me help you, Daddy. Well, what should you do? Light the pipe or handle the range? Oh, little girls don't smoke. You know that, Daddy. Hi there, Brownie. Get up. side of a mountain caved into the canyon just around the bend. Well, we can get around it, can't we? Not a chance. There's steep cliffs on each side. We'll have to turn back. The Corwin Transportation is not in the habit of turning back, Henderson. What's wrong, boss? The road's blocked. We're going over the ridge. Up there with these wagons? Why, they're right putting for a pack mule. There's food and medicine in these wagons for the folks at Boulder Creek, and they're needing it. Now, we ain't going to let them down. But I tell you, it can't be done, Corwin. No man can put a wagon up over that ridge. My daddy can. Good girl, Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We've been through all kinds of trouble together. Now, we're not going to let a little thing like a landslide stop us, are we? I'll go with you, Daddy. I'll help you. Well, boys, we're not going to let Jane show us up, are we? Well, I'll say we ain't. What do you want us to do, boss? That's the way I like to hear you talk. You follow me with your wagons. When we get to the cliff up there, we move on one at a time. You pick up all the ropes on the wagon train. And you, you'll have charge of the men at the wheels. All right, boss. Here, you take Janie over on your horse, Henderson. I want to stay with you, Daddy. I want to help you. It'll only be till we get over the ridge, honey. Then you can ride with me again. All right. Oh, I don't need any help. What? Block that hind wheel! Block that hind wheel! Ramp that front wheel. Jones, you and a couple of those men slide that rocky man. Block those rear wheels. Come on, in, all together. How's that? I told you my daddy could do it. You sure did. And my father has never lost that spirit, Mr. Bladen. That's how he was able to build the Corwin Transportation Company from a pack train to a business that's part of Boulder County. And as for selling out to your railroad, I don't think he'd even be interested. I'm sorry, Miss Corwin, but when our railroad is completed... Your freight wagons and your stagecoaches will be standing idle. Your company will be out of business. And why are you so anxious to buy us out? Because we believe that's the easiest way to stop the attacks on our construction work. Are you accusing my father of being responsible for the attacks on your railroad? Well, who else in Boulder Creek would be interested in fighting us? That's Jane. Bladen, you got your nerve coming here after what's happened. Why, what do you mean, Henderson? Well, what is it, Tom? The wagon train's been attacked, Miss Jane. There's been bloodshed. Where's Daddy? Why didn't he come with you? Where is he? Daddy! Daddy! 
Better come inside, Jane. Who did it? Railroad men. Can you prove that? You bet we can. Here's a railroad badge one was wearing. You're the boss of the railroad and was your men. Yes, he's behind it. You're responsible for the murder of Jim Corwin. Let's get him. Just a minute, boys. I've got something to say to Mr. Bladen. Your railroad tried to buy my father out. And when he wouldn't sell, he was murdered. But the Corwin Transportation Company is carrying on. You bet we will. We're with you, Miss Corwin. Let's show the railroad we mean business. Oh, not that way, boys. We'll fight fair. I'm giving you a chance, Mr. Bladen. That's more than you gave my father. Now get out. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Corwin, that you and your men take this attitude. But I can assure you that the railroad had nothing to do with it. Again. Looks like he means business. Hey, boys, the Rattler! Surround the camp! We've got Simpson. He's still breathing. Let's get him to the hospital. All right. Did you see anybody? No. Well, whoever did it made a clean getaway. That's the fifth warning in three weeks. Corin's daughter's back of this. He certainly is getting even with the railroad. She's the Rattler, all right. I've had enough of this. I don't mind risking my life on a job. But this is just plain suicide. Let's tell Blake. Okay. What's going on here? Mr. Bladen, we came down here to work on the railroad, not to get killed. What do you mean? The Rattler just got Simpson and a couple more of your men. The Rattler? Yeah, and we're quitting. Wait. You can't quit like this. This Rattler business is just a trick to frighten you and stop work on the railroad. Well, I, I admit there have been some accidents, but... It's... Yes, but this is no accident. Every time one of these show up, somebody gets killed. We're through. Wait a minute, boys. You can't quit like this. There's a bonus in this for every man who sticks to his job. Yeah? Well, if you and Miss Corrin want to stop here and fight, that's okay. But count me up. And me too. Now, come on, fellas. Let's pack. More trouble, eh? Yes, this thing's getting beyond me. If Williams doesn't show up pretty soon, we'll be licked. The chief wired that Williams started down here a week ago. Well, I hope nothing's happened to him. He's the only man that can get to the bottom of this. Take a wire to the chief. A rattler is struck again. Situation desperate. More men quitting. Where's Williams? Need him badly. Just a minute, Layton. Well, what do you want? You're not going to send that message. Ken Williams! Well, am I glad to see you. Where have you been? Working for you for about a week. Only you didn't know it. <laughs> then you probably know more about this situation than I do. Have you any idea who the Rattler really is? Not exactly. Here's a weapon struck down the steam shovel operator, though. Ought to have his fingerprints on it. His fingerprints? Yes. 
Then you think the Rattler is a man. You're on the wrong track, Williams. The Rattler is a woman. She is head of the Corwin Transportation Company. You forget, Bladen, that the Rattler has also attacked them. Well, who else could it be? If the railroad didn't tunnel through the mountain, you'd have to buy the land around for a right-of-way, wouldn't you? Why, absolutely, but what's well, that got to do well, with... Well, man owns the land, could be the Rattler. I think he's striking at both companies to get you to fight each other. Why, that couldn't be. Why, the company doctor owns the land, and he's the... Oh, come in, doctor. I want you to meet Ken Williams. Ken Williams, this is Dr. Edwards. Glad to know you, Williams. Glad to know you, doctor. Oh, by the way, I'd like to have a talk with a patient of yours, uh, Simpson. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just sent him to my hospital in Boulder Creek. He's got a bad skull fracture. I may have to operate. That's what I dropped in to tell you, Bladen. Glad to met you, Williams. Glad to met you, doctor. Well, Bladen, I guess I better be getting back to the county seat and have this wrench examined for fingerprints. Still ride Tarzan? Sure do. You should have seen the expression on his face when I left him down the corral with the mules. <laughs> Didn't like it a bit. Well, I'm certainly glad that you're down here to settle this thing. Well, Ken Williams? I got you, boss. We'll leave right away. Chief. That one just phoned. Ken Williams is after him. Ken Williams in Holy Creek? Yeah, and he's got the boss's fingerprints on a monkey wrench. You gotta get it back. Grab about four of those men and bring them along. Oh, man. What's the matter, Tarzan? Mules all walk out on you? Huh? I don't blame them. Maybe they didn't like blondes, huh? him. You take positions like I told you. And if he gets by you, fellas, Red and I'll be down a trail of ways to stop him. Those horses quiet, quick. Drop them guns. I'll back away from him. On, back it up. Easy. Oh, boy, who? One of you two is certainly a bum shot. It'll practice to do you some good. Sorry, stranger, but the fact is we mistook you for someone else. You don't say. I suppose if one of you had plugged me, you'd have put a sign on me, shot by mistake, huh? Get that man! You can't get away with that! Something wrong. Go get Red and Hank. I'll ride back and see what's happened. Right. Quick, 
Something's happened. Come on, get up from there. Come on, get up. Go on up there. Go ahead, I said. Uh, 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 I remember it now. That face. It was the rattler. Dr. Edwards, you're just the man I want to see. But it's useless, I tell you. Simpson is out of his mind, and he couldn't recognize anybody. Maybe the shock of seeing this armor will bring him out of it. All right, you. Here's where you get off. Come on.
Which way, Doc? I told you not to come in here. But you didn't say positively. Get out of here. Hello, Ken. Breezy. Hello, Hi. Ken. <laughs> These harmless, Doc. Allow me to introduce to you Breezy Baker, the world's worst newspaper reporter. Glad to meet you socially, Doctor. When I heard you were on this case, Ken, I thought I'd come down here because I knew to make a darn good story. That's fine. Well, now that you have your picture of Simpson, let's see if we can get him to talk. Come on. Come on, you. Simpson. Simpson. Well, he's dead. Murdered. Shot through the heart. The reckless dart. Keep an eye on this fellow, Doc. Come on, Breezy. No use going out there. Why not? Because I think whoever threw that dart was in the room. You mean the doctor? I'm not sure yet. I brought that prisoner in here to lead me to the rattler. If the doctor's a rattler, they'll talk. Otherwise... Run in here. Where is he? Who are you and what right have you got to come in here? Look here, Miss Carlin. A railroad worker's just been murdered because he knew too much. The man you're shielding is mixed up in it. You're going to tell me where he is. I'm not shielding anyone. Hey, Ken, take a look at this. There's a message tied to this dart. Let me oh, see. don't touch it. The rattler's fingerprint might be on it. I've already got him on the wrench. He'd be too smart to make the same mistake twice. So the rattler's ordering me out of town. Hmm. Where's the next stage for the north? When the stages north and south leave together in a few minutes. Good. Give me a ticket to the county seat for my friend. Hey, what's the idea? I'm not going to the county seat. Oh, yes, you are. You're going to do me a favor and maybe get yourself a good story, too. Now you're talking. The rattler's fingerprints are on this. Why don't you take it over to the county seat and have it photographed at police headquarters? Understand? I'm halfway there. Good boy. Here you are. Is that right, Miss Carlin? That's right. Thank you. All right, come on, Breezy. Come on, let's go. Listen. I thought you were too smart to blab your business in front of everybody. You mean Miss Carlin? Sure. I wanted to hear about the ranch. Come on, slip it to me. Quick. Well, listen, what's the idea of big coming... Listen, I know. Don't you see I'm setting a trap for the rattler? Come on, you're going to take a stage ride. Which is the northbound stage, partner? This one here. We'll pull them right out. Thanks. Right. Well, good luck, Breezy. Thank See you later. No! All right, pal. No!
don't touch them guns. Get down over there. Get out of the stage on this side. Come on. Let's turn your backs, all of you. Turn them. Perhaps, Miss Carlin, you'd like to explain why your southbound stage is going north in such a hurry. Just how is that any of your affair, Mr. Williams? Because I set a trap for the rattler and you walk right into it. Well, if you really want to catch the rattler, there he goes. One of your stagecoaches, too. That's just a trick of the rattlers to throw the blame on me. We'll soon find out who the rattler is, Miss Carvin. Tarzan! Come on, boy! Back up away from there, man. Back away from that coach. Go ahead. behind us. 